Hello everyone! I have the brand new Friedman IRX preamp pedal in front of me. We've been waiting a long time for this and I finally get to plug it in and it's an absolutely amazing pedal. So what is this pedal? So, it's in the name, it's a preamp. But what's unique about this preamp is you have the ability to go direct out, taking the balance output from there with the TRS cable and you can go into a mixer, interface, whatever and this cap simulation slash impulse response loading abilities. So you can plug the pedal into your PC and you can use the Friedman IRX software. And what you can do is you can load up to 12 different free Friedman IRs that come with the unit, or you could easily just upload your own IR into it. And with each channel, there are two, you can upload three different IR slots in each of them. Now, channel one is going to be something that goes from clean to an edge of breakup, so it's gritty thing. And then you have channel two, which handles all the rest from crunch all the way to high gain. The knobs are, you got your bass, middle treble on each channel, a volume again. And with channel one, there is a bright toggle switch. And the center is going to be deactivated to get a much more nice and creamy, thick tone. And then you can put it on the left or the right to vary the brightness. On channel 2, you have a tight switch. So on the right, it's going to be more full. To the left, it's going to be more tighter and more percussive. And with each of these channels, there is also a boost ability. With channel 1, the boost is going to add gain. And you can vary that amount of gain, not just with the knob on board, but there is a tiny little knob at the side. You can adjust with the screwdriver to get the max gain out of it. And with channel 2, the boost is going to add gain as well. And you can also adjust it on the side of the pedal. Now, how do I have the pedal hooked up? I have the pedal running simultaneously into the return of my Hughes & Kettner Master Deluxe 20. So the amp is just functioning as a power amp, powering the orange cabinet which is being mic'd up by a S Electronics X1S and V7X. And there is a touch of reverb there because reverb makes me happy. Now that is also the balanced out going into my interface and what we'll hear first part is we're going to just go through the amp and go through all the dials and then towards the end I'm just going to hook it up and let you hear how it sounds with the inbuilt IRs that are uploaded into the unit. So other interesting stuff about the unit is there is two 12AX7 preamp tubes. You have foot switch here that handles the channel switching, the boost as well as disengaging the IR, disengaging the loop if you choose to do so, and also to store presets, which brings me to the point where there is MIDI built into this pedal and there's up to 120 presets if you wanna use it that way. So you can use it on a board, you can use it in a rack. You can also use this purely for the cap simulation or IR function. So for example, if you had a pedal board or you had another preamp but does not have a cap sim, you can plug that into the return of this pedal and then send it out to your interface slash mixer slash whatever direct in front of house. Anyway, it's yapping a lot. Holy shit, there's a lot of words. This is my Les Paul with P90s and uh, let's check out the pedal with its clean channel currently. Channel 1. Um, EQ is as is in the sound clip and this is how that sounds Okay, so that's with the bright switch in the center. In other words, deactivated to get the most thicker sounding tone. Now let's flick it to the left and hear how that sounds. And all the way to the right. That's an 
interesting scale. Back all the way to the left. So that switch can really bring out that spanky slash frody kind of tone you get, especially with a strat kind of neck pickup or in-between position. So that's the bright switch. I'm going to bring it back to the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the boost knob when it's engaged with this channel first because I think I really love the tone with my neck pickup. So here goes. <laughs> Now let's crank the gain knob on this first channel and see how much of a crunch we can get out of this. the boost extremely fun. Now, I'm going to show you how well it can clean up with the volume knob of the guitar. So I'm leaving the gain as is completely full with the boost in. Let's see how that cleans up. Okay. <laughs> does an excellent job. Now, enough of fooling with the first channel. I'm going to go to the second channel right now. And um, let's leave the gain as is. I'm going to leave the tight knob to the right. We can check out the tight knob first and see what that does. <laughs> So 
to the right. So it does help kind of sculpt a little bit of the low end off to give you a more percussive sounding thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing, but uh, back up on the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> Let's tighten that. So you can clearly hear how something that is bottom heavy is going to nicely sculpt that out and make it nice and tight. Now, let's roll back the gain on this channel to hear how less of a crunch you can get out of that. So, tighten now back to the right. Bridge pick up, gain knob roll down. back up let's uh sorry i rolled my volume up uh, just now to hear how it cleaned up anyway back to 10 and more gain <laughs> That's not enough gain for you you can of course engage the boost knob and get way more gain <laughs> So now that was the pedal through an actual cabinet. Now let's quickly go and listen to it uh, going direct into my interface. 15 minutes later. All right, we're back. The pedal's hooked up into the interface. Okay, here goes. So I'm using the, uh, the middle slot right now for the IR and uh, this is how that sounds. <laughs> to the one on the left right now just to hear what I like first I'm gonna stick to that one and uh, just tweak the gain and use the boost in here how all that goes
So that's channel one. I'm gonna hop to channel two right now and see which IR satisfies me the most. <laughs> So that's the pedal going directly into an interface. Now also to take note, besides being able to change the IR2 of your choice, there is two more hidden tone sculpting features that are only in the software. So if you plug it into the IRX uh, editor, you can see there is a presence and a thump uh, setting. So you can of course in increase the amount of presence or thump, in other words resonance, the low end and high end tweaking in the power amp section. So, there you go, that's the Friedman IRX pedal. Let us know what you think about the tone. The key here today gives a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content, and I will see you very, very soon.